Alright guys, I'm on Cat pre-release box number two for me. I have Mr. Bevers on the computer in front of me that you cannot see. He's with me live via Skype. It is 1.50 in the morning on release night. Mr. Bevers, please introduce yourself. Hello, hello. hello. So we're going to do a pack battle. And um, what we'll do is I'm going to link his video in the description of mine. And you can watch them side by side or you can see how we're going to battle it out. And it's going to be and fantastic. Be on my channel as well. We're going to, um, this is like a, almost like a mini introduction to our bundle vet, our bundle battle that will be next week. And we'll go from there. Mr. Bevers and I are going to do a lot of videos together. Really cool guy. Right. Let's get into these. Things. Let's crack this thing open. All right. Ah, that one was a little harder than my last one. So in the first one I opened, Mr. Bevers, I've noticed that these boxes are actually really cool. I, I really like the way that they started doing these. Um, right. So like the Ada Revolt boxes were real fancy. They had a little push, the little push tab. Uh, they folded out a different way, which was really cool. These seem to just pop open. Um, yeah. This is my so this is my second one again. I have another blue die. I think they are just doing blue die. For all yeah, of them. Yeah, I think, I think so, too, because, like, mine is also well, a blue die. So we're three for three on blue die. What's the lettering like on yours, though? Is it gold or silver? So I have two that are silver. Okay, mine is silver as well. So there you go. It's the same all the way around, it looks like. Okay. And I do like it, too, because if you take the tab and you pull out, you can actually pull out and the whole thing kind of extends and uh, tilts out of the box, which I, I like a lot. Um, oh, interesting. It stands up. Yeah. Yeah, they. I really like the way it's that they. Uh, connected. Huh. Yeah, it's it's real. It's um, you know, it, it's like they really put some some thought into it. You know what I mean? That lets me hide my my card, which I like to do. I like to hide the promo card. Yeah, I actually just immediately pulled it out in the first video, and I was like, oh, well, there it is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that box is really cool, actually. Yeah, I think they did a really good job with it. Uh, do yeah, you want to do? It feels up nice and tight too. Yeah, huh. it it like clicks in a little bit. Yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six packs of Amon Ket. Uh, do you want to do the promo first? Or you want to do some packs first? Um, I don't know. How do you? What do you feel like? I usually do the promo because right, you know you're not going to get an invocation out of the promo, so we kind of just spoil that off the bat. <laughs> I'm gonna have a right. uh, uh, a Sam Adams not summer ale for uh, MTG Unscrewed right now. That makes sense. I am not drinking a not beer because I don't have any in my house at the moment. Uh, I went out specifically for this. What do you got there? A my face. Cruel reality as my promo card. So he's got a cruel. A mythic. Oh, nice. So I'm pulling a disposis, disposis, dispossess, dispossess. Yeah, okay. Rare sorcery. Choose an artifact card name. Search target opponent's graveyard hand. Graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards with the chosen name and exile them. Then that player shuffles his or her library. I have to say, the uh, the symbol on the foil mythics is actually really hard to tell that it's red. I have noticed that as well. Um, it's a very light shade of red that is yeah. you could easily pass over it for thinking it's just a rare. Yeah. So here, uh, Cruel Reality is it's an enchant or a curse for, for seven mana. Two black, five enchant player. At the beginning of enchanted player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. If they can't, he or she loses five life. Ooh. That seems pretty pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Although very expensive. <laughs> seven mana. All right, what have, you, what have you got for pack art? Pack art? What do we um, oh man, what do you got on your far? Actually, mine is almost scarily, scarily set up identical to yours. Uh oh. Um, I mean, literally, like I'm like off by one. That's okay. really interesting. Uh, on far right, far right. Yep. What? We're gonna go start with the far right. Yep. Okay, sounds good. All right, All right. let's crack. Let's get in. Invocation. Invocation. So I did notice on the one that I did pull already on my first video, it stuck out like a sore thumb, to be honest. It looked like a, um, a almost like a Pokemon card, like an all hollow, ridiculous Pokemon card. <laughs> yeah, I guess because the borders are not black, so of course it would stick out. Exactly. Right. 
Uh, you going? Are so, you starting with uncommons or going right to the rare? I'm gonna I'm gonna start with uncommons, but I counted. I only have nine commons. Oh, I didn't so count. I'm pretty sure I, have, I don't have a foil though. I have a foil. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Um. So uh, I don't. You know, this is really interesting. It's the first time that we're we're kind of doing this together at the same time. That's right. Um, I don't know if well, you I mean, want to go, just then I go. I'm going to show off the uncommons. I won't read it, because we, otherwise we're talking over each other too much, I think, right? So. All right, so let's just go, let's kind of just very slowly pan through the, uh, the uncommons. Yep. All right, there's one, two, and as foretold mythic, look at that, and you pull a Nyssa. <laughs> oh my, I, I was like, I was like, okay, I'm going to win this first pack. Maybe not. Oh, look at that. I do ha I got a full art, and I got a foil in this one. Greater Sandworm Foil. Wow, nice. That's that. That's a that's a good, that's a solid first pack. Now, now, let's let's be honest, because, like, our pack battle is, you got a Mythic, I got a Mythic, so we're sort of tied on there. I mean, yeah, mine's a Planeswalker, but you got a foil, too, and so did I. So I feel like maybe it, the land, if I get, if I don't get a full art, I think you take this well, pack. I ha I well, I don't know. I have a foil common. So let's let's we might go down to the okay, foil. Let's, let's see if you beat the foil mine, common. Mine's a foil common as well. Oh, all right. Can you get a full art land? I did get a full art land. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. And a cat token. Well, which, which I, they said that you get a token in every pack now instead of getting those ad cards. Is that what I've heard? I mean, I honestly haven't heard that, but that would kind of be smart. There are emb uh, embalming tokens now too. They're like punch yeah, cards. I it's really those, cool. Yeah. So um. All right, I all right. So let's next one, the Sphinx. I have a okay. Sphinx pack next as well. Yep. All right. Sounds good. All right. Crack these babies open. I didn't count. I never count my uh, my commons to be honest. I like the surprise. That's okay. I won't. I won't say what I got. Okay. So um, starting off again, we'll do it quietly, yeah. and then we'll just yep. go right to the. Uh, the rare. And I'm going to start with an anointed procession. And I'm going to start with a sweltel sweltering suns. Uh, so oh, an both are rares. Both are rares. And do I have... Uh, I'm going right to a normal, regular forest and a snake token. I'm going to also go to a normal, regular forest, but a sacred cat token instead. All right, we are tie... Weird. Sacred cat token. So who do you have next? You have the lady, right? And then the pharaoh? Yeah. Okay. And then another cat and then another sphinx. So, I'll sw uh, so I have the, um, so I have a pharaoh, the lady, I have the Anubis looking god, and then another sphinx. We're only one pack off. Okay, so we'll go with the, with the dude next. That's who you have, the pharaoh? Pharaoh it is. Okay. Let's start cracking. We'll leave the one pack that's different till the end, right? That sounds good. Okay. All right, I'm on to the uncommons. I'll wait for you. Okay. All right. Ready? Yep. There's one. Try to look strength. Lay claim. Oh, okay. I think I got the new one of the new EDH guys. Temet, Visor, Vizier of Na Nac. Tamin, Nactaman. Okay. Legendary creature, human cleric. All right. Nice. Mine and... is approach of the second sun, a sorcery for seven mana. Whoa, high cost. Very expensive. If approach of the second sun was cast from your hand and you've cast another spell named approach for the second sun, this game you win the game. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, put approach from this uh, second sun into its owner's library, seventh from the top, and you gain seven life. That's interesting. They're... So you cast the spell, you put it seven down from the top of your library, gain seven life, and just wait seven turns. And so it's like a counter, seven turns, and you win the game. Yeah. That is crazy. Or if you have ways to draw sooner. Right. right. Um, that is definitely going to see... I can see that seeing some play, people making some crazy decks. I feel like you're not wrong. <laughs> so I have a foil... I don't. I have so a. You win that pack. I have a foil uncommon spring spring mind spring in mind. Nice. And then I actually have that new uh, exerted embalmed exerted card. Okay, the tokens. Yeah. 
I got just a warrior token, a one one vigilance. Okay. And a regular swamp. I had so a reg- I had a, I had a regular. Lady next. Um yes. All right. Lady. Come on, invocation. I, I it, it was just so out of the oh my god, I, I couldn't I couldn't believe it. I literally couldn't believe it because I went what? How many Kaladesh and Aether Revolt boxes with getting nothing and it's like, "Oh, here's yeah. your pre-release." And then, yeah, just in the pre-release, you get six packs, and you're like, wow, cool, all right. And I really like the fact that they gave you six pre-release packs of the set and not, like, four of the set um, and two of, like, yeah. either evil. Well, that's what it'll be on the next one, right? That's how they always do I'm, the I be- second. Yeah, so block. you're going to get two more of, um, you'll probably get Amon two Ket. more of Amon Ket for Hour of Devastation. That's right, yeah. All right, so first uncommon. Yep. Time to reflect. Exemplar of Strength, and my rare Heart Piercer Manticore. Creature Manticore. Okay, mine is an Anointed Procession. Oh, there you go. Enchantment. Um, that's pretty cool. So when you um, when Manticore comes into play, uh, you may sacrifice another creature. If that creature, if you do, Heart of Manticore, Heart Piercer Manticore deals damage equal to that creature's power to target creature. In bomb six, so, um, and it will come back as a white zombie manticore with no mana right. cost, um, no foil, regular island zombie token. Hmm. And my enchantment is: if an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. So it's a white. Parallel lives, essentially. I could see it. I mean, with the amount of uh, with the this is highly revolved around, I think, embalming. Um, yeah. So, and so any of cycling. Was only so tokens, right? I believe so. I believe that was yeah, strictly tokens. Yeah, and then I have a full art swamp and a zombie token. Well, you win based so, off know. of the full art. So then, you ba- you win based off the full art. Okay, so then we're on to Sphinx next? Yes, that That's is correct. Yep. All right. So, so far, uh, we've tied we tied two, and then I won one, and you won one? Correct. All right. Well, all right. Okay. So. You ready? Ready. All right. Flame Blade, Protection, Lay Bear of the Heart, and my rare, Haptara Visor of Poisons, another legendary creature, Human Cleric. So I think I got another of your commanders. Okay, well, I got another Mythic. Oh, oh you got Bantu. Yeah, Bantu, the Glorified. There you go. You, Unless you I haven't, I would say unless I had an Invocation, three. but you win. Go ahead. I'm just reading it myself. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, he's he's a little ridiculous there. Uh, he was the one I was talking to you about earlier. I think it's a little ridiculous because, mm-hmm. you know, we're at pre-release. Or technically we're at release. You know, all the cards are going to start hitting the market. He's four bucks. Yeah. The value of this set is uh, uh, is real low, in my opinion. It's yeah, a little it disappointing. Way, yeah. It's a little disappointing. Um, you know, it's kind of like almost invocation or bust or... Uh, foil for land or bust. So I really like, I really like his 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 mana ability, his activated ability. Pay pay a black and a colorless, sack another creature, scry one, and each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. Yeah, that that that's, is going to be amazing in commander. That will um multiplayer games. Yeah, that's definitely going to uh, allow black uh allow swamp decks to certainly stay in the game you know and i have a foil uncommon as well i think so this pack was just like spice for me yeah i think you're in the lead now for sure but no no oh and i got the weird little token things that you can punch out that's, yep. that's a really cool idea i'm glad that they thought of this i definitely i was real skeptic with the uh you know the invocations not being full art um, after I've seen one in person, my mind has changed. They are still really nice cards. Um, 
and I think they did a good job with them. They're definitely different enough to really stand out. So, hmm. you know, I, uh, I'm pretty happy with them. Well, I'll get to see it in your video, your first video, because when you showed it to me on the cam here, it was very hard to see with the lighting. Yeah, but my I'll lighting is... I'll check it out in your video, and I'm sure it'll do it justice, I hope, anyway. Yeah, I hope so. I, I, I kind of shoved it in the camera a little bit, so... Hey, I got my first split card. Oh, nice. Cool. Alright, so let's focus, focus. Start and finish. How fitting. Oh, I got Bantu's Monument to start. So I got Bantu and Bantu's Monument. Team Worthy. That was, that was your uncommon? Yeah, Bantu's Monument is an uncommon. Uh, reduce rubble. And so my rare is... Ah, oh, Scattered Groves. Land. Cool. And Mine is a Pyramid of the Pantheon. Very nice. So Scattered Groves is a Forest Plains... Tap, add a forest or a plains to your mana pool. Scatter groves enter the battlefield tapped. Also has cycling two. Pay two, discard this card, draw a card. Cycling, good old cycling. They brought it back. So the Pyramid of the Pantheon is an artifact for one. Pay two mana, tap it, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Put a brick counter on Pyramid of the Pantheon. You can tap it and add three mana of any one color to your mana pool. Activate this ability only if there are three or more brick counters on Pyramid. So, it's an interesting sort of card. It gives you one of any color, but it costs you two until you get that third brick counter, and then you can get and uh, you get three mana for the cost of nothing, which is kind of cool. It goes very well with uh, what was that other thing? We were just looking at that. This, Anointed Procession, because it says if an effect or, uh, would create one or more tokens, oh no, this is a brick counter. It's, it's a brick, a yeah, it's not, it's not a counter. Unfortunate. Yeah. And no full art land for me, so what was that, a tie then? We both opened a rare, or did you get a full art? No, 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 uh, that was just a rare for me. So I'm going to end this battle with one mythic uh, and two foils. And I think you're going to overtake me, and we won't even need to count the uh, the full art. Yeah, because I have two foils and two mythics. Right, so you have well, two, you beat me based on mythic count. If you count the yeah, the pre-release. Promo, yeah, you won the pro. Yeah, you won this pack battle, my friend. You definitely won this one. Three mythics in one uh, in one kit is pretty impressive. I mean, you're that's three for seven. That is very unlikely. That's very that's that's yeah. that's very uh, lucky. Well, that was a really cool little video that yeah. we did together. I like it. I like it a lot. Definitely do more in the future. We'll see how it's received. Yeah, I think I think it, it's it took us a little longer because we're going back and forth. We're at about the eighteen yeah. minute mark, uh, yeah. based on my camera. But honestly, I feel like this is really cool. It's a lot of discussion, and mm -hmm. if people can watch both the people who watch both videos and both ends of it, I think that they'll like it a lot. Yeah, um, I agree. So. But Again, like, let us know below in the comments too, right, guys? So, like, yeah, you know, by all means, you know, thumbs up it if you like it, thumbs down it if you don't. Uh, tell us in the comments, you know, what you enjoyed. If we need to speed it up a little bit, I, this is our first one, so hopefully it will go, you know, smoother in the future, and uh, it will definitely be a little faster. Eighteen minutes is a long six it packs. Sure yeah, it's a long six packs, but um, <laughs> technically it's almost twelve packs because it is uh, it's both both sides. That's right, um, that's right. But, like, when we do the bundle, we'll see if we can speed it up a bit. Yeah, I think that will go a little bit faster. It has to, pretty much. Well, we, we probably we probably don't need to show off the uncommons too much when we do that one. No, so we'll we just go right just to the actual right to battling. Players. Yep. And, by the way, uh, there will be a giveaway on that video if anyone's right. uh, listening this far into our videos and our ranting. Um, there will be two giveaways, one be on a... my channel and one on Sam's channel. Correct. There will be two giveaways. Uh, again, guys, we're you know having this video with Mr. Bevers. Again, I'll put a link in the description to his channel below. Check him out. He also has a site, uh, Nerdvana, where he sells cars back to the community. You know, very good prices underneath uh, market value. He's just doing it to give back to the community. So if you want, you're looking for some singles, give his channel a uh, give his channel and his website a look. Yeah, and the shipping sucks, so I apologize <laughs> for that because at I'm least he's Canada, honest, and so it's ridiculously expensive for us so if you go with the 250 order or more you get free shipping so 
it's always an option. I know 250 is a lot to spend on cards, but some of the cards can be pretty pricey. So There you go, guys. We'll wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. Give Mr. Bevers some love for me. And um, that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.